Hi art and esoterica enthusiasts. Today I'm going to talk to you about the latest shoot I did at King Size Studios in Auckland, New Zealand. This shoot was for my latest body of work, which is about the human relationship to our closest celestial bodies. So the sun, the moon and the planets. I won't go into too much detail about the hows and whys of this, uh, this project because this is more of a behind the scenes type thing and I'll go into the, uh, the meaning and thinking behind it at a later date. Both the stills and video are shot on a Canon 5D Mark IV. I use continuous lighting in this shoot because I'm doing both stills and video so I like to have the same lighting set up for both of those situations. I'm shooting this in the larger studio at King Size because I really needed the height. I find that when working with models and particularly when filming full length and movement, I really need quite a bit of space around them for the lighting setup. I'm using a beautiful um, overhead light for this one with a lantern softbox on it, which I'd never used before. And the, uh, the effect that it gives is really very beautiful. Doing these large shoots when you don't have your own studio does mean that you have to hire or borrow studio space. I was talking to my friend Richard about this the other day and very much like me he likes to shoot quite complex um, photos using costumes and props and with models in them. I've always found shooting uh, in a space that's not mine with a, a time limit on it quite stressful because you really are very much aware that you've got a certain amount of time you can use, that it's not your space, you don't always know where everything is, you can't do everything you want and um, yeah I, I do find that quite quite hard sometimes and um, Richard was saying the same thing and he actually prefers to shoot in his little studio space at home where he has all the time in the world to do what he wants uh, rather than hiring a space like I do. I'm working with two models, um, Arif is the sun and Tao is the moon. We're all friends so it creates quite a pleasant working environment where we can have a bit of a laugh and be quite relaxed. I make all the costumes for my work and that's quite an integral part of the project itself. I really enjoy that aspect of creating something really unusual for um, my characters to wear. I love looking at fabrics and I love choosing fabrics that I feel are going to move really well around the models. So this is, let's see if I get this into shot. This is the sun's headdress. So Arif was wearing this. This is the moon's headdress worn by Tao. Speaking of finding unusual things to use in these, um, these costumes, this texture on the outside here, this is actually placemats from Kmart. This is the sun's headdress. It's a, a gold satin and I um, appliqued all these pieces on. They were all part of a really big piece of very fancy, expensive fabric that I got. And I, I cut the pieces out so that they would work around the edges of the, um, the hood. In this video taken in the studio, you can see me directing Tao as to how I would like her to move her arms. Now, as you can see, if you bring her arms in front of your face here with the lighting set up, she casts quite a big shadow across the face. So I'm just showing her what room she's got. These are some of the stills of Tao from this shoot. You can see how beautifully all the fabrics move. And that's that headdress with the lovely placemats on it. <laughs> Here we have Arif as the sun, and that's that headdress again, and the hood that I was showing you earlier. I'm just so pleased with how that gold looks against the, um, the background. Now this is uh, a piece of raw video of Tao moving. 
We use uh, a small fan to get some movement in the fabrics without them going too crazy. I love the way the light catches her headdress there. What I'm doing with these videos is I'm imagining that they will be set up in a circle. The viewer will go into the center of the circle and the sun and the moon will actually orbit the viewer. So you'll see them passing around you. Here's Arif performing another one of these movements where he comes into frame, he performs an action and then moves off frame. So each of the actions I've chosen for the sun and the moon to perform are different um, motions that may have something to do with uh, ceremonial magic or ritual and are perhaps related to the characteristics that we imbue the sun and the moon with. These videos are all completely raw. I've done no retouching on them or color grading or anything like that yet. They're straight out of the camera. So when the sun and the moon end up meeting during their orbits, uh, they will perform other actions um, to each other and towards the viewer. So here I'm coming up and just rearranging their costumes and giving them direction around the actions I'd like them to make. I like to shoot these videos in this uh, ultra slow motion with a high frame rate uh, because I want them to have an otherworldly quality to them. I don't want them to feel like they're in the here and now. I want them to feel like they're somewhere else outside of this world. And that sort of um, very slow motion with the floating fabrics gives that out of world feel. It's usually pretty fun working with models, especially when I know them quite well. There's a lot of laughing and mucking around. I'm very lucky to have such patient friends who are willing to put up with me, um, having them in these, these um, things, dressing them up, making them do weird stuff. enjoyed seeing behind the scenes on this shoot. People often ask me what it's like and what we do, so now you have a bit of an idea what we get up to. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time.